I'm totally gonna make my video with my shadow because <laughs> I'm obviously holding my baby right now and there's so many shulk plants, thorny plants, I can't set her on the ground. So hi, <laughs> I'm Morgan's shadow. <laughs> I'm up here at Mashar Jadur. Here's the land. Ahla Philistine, sah. Ahla Philistine. Okay, and just gorgeous. So many things I could talk about right now, you know, from the rocks and how it was traditionally in the Sinsale and the Sife and the Qasr. But what we're going to focus on now is this beautiful tree. Oops, there we go. Okay, look at these flowers. These are just magnificent flowers. Look how little these are. Tiny. My friend Lois Nachle, the botanic artist, actually painted this. And the flowers are just magnificent. She gifted us this painting, actually. They're just magnificent how fine and detailed they are. Okay, so this is obviously a deciduous tree because it's March and she is not having any of her leaves. They're just coming out. These are gonna be her leaves. It is one of our more beautiful trees, I think, in Palestine because of its color. Here we go. Here's a nice little view of her baby leaves. Okay, now, does anybody know the name of this tree? So I'm actually gonna post this on the Mama's Palestinian Kitchen Group at this point. And I'm gonna let people guess because I think you will know the name of this tree. I'm looking for Arabic, English, and scientific Latin name. Here's some beautiful flowers of hers. Okay, and guess what? It had um, healing properties, people say. So how did we use it? And I'll give you one hint. Though it is native to Palestine, it is in fact a cousin of the mango tree. Okay, so I'm cutting off the video here for Mama's Palestinian Kitchen Group to guess, and I'm uploading this in full to my new YouTube channel, Morgan, Natural Morgan in Palestine, which cracks me up. That's basically just a library, like an archive of all of our videos we've made over the years. And so for everybody else, I will tell you this is Shajarat al Butum. Yeah, and in English, it's called the Terebinth tree, and the Latin name is Pistachia Palestina. And it was used traditionally for toothaches and stomach aches in Palestine. So pretty, huh, that color? I mean, look at it against the, it's grays, browns, and greens. And then you have this flash of red here with this tree. Just gorgeous. Beautiful Palestine. Beautiful, beautiful nature in Palestine.